because of Stephen, I see colour. I see injustice. I see fear. But I also see hope. I see light and I see a change. It takes a village to raise a child. Welcome to some of the Viru village. Because of Stephen, we are never silenced. We don't campaign through anger and frustration, but through negotiation, discussions and wisdom. Because of Stephen Lawrence, we should all be reminded that whilst we cannot go back in time and adapt past events, we can strive to build a better society for this generation and next, teaching the significance of kindness and equality, ensuring that nobody has to live in fear solely based upon the colour of their skin. Because of Stephen Lawrence, I choose to stand up with the many other thousands of people creating his legacy for change. We want to support our young people, to educate them and to guide them into making positive life choices. It is all of our duty of care to look after our young people and make sure we live in a caring society and watching out for each other. After all, our young people are the future. Because of Stephen Lawrence, I am committed to helping all young people to achieve their best potential, to be healthy, to be happy, and most of all, to be safe. Because of Stephen, I have the hope that every person will be judged not based on the colour of their skin, but on the positive attributes that they have to bring to their own communities. I also have the hope that every young black person feels safe in the communities that they are brought up in. Because of Stephen, we must recognise overt and institutionalised racism where it exists and call it out. Because of Stephen, I promised myself I would always challenge discrimination and injustices, both within my personal and professional life. And nearly 30 years on, I hope I've lived up to that promise and will continue to do so. Because of Stephen Lawrence, this has made me want to create a change within my generation. Because of Stephen Lawrence, this has helped educate me and become more aware of police brutality, knife crime and gun crime. Stephen, I'm reminded daily in my role to ensure that all forms of prejudice and discrimination are challenged. I also remember the dignity and resilience and courage shown by Baroness Lawrence. Because of Stephen, I'm reminded that there's still work to be done. But as long as there are people who listen, who speak up, who educate themselves and others in and outside of work, there's hope. As part of Next Generation New Theatre, we want to be a part of that change. Because of Stephen Lawrence, I think the world should just be kind, generous. Um, we're all human. We all bleed the same. And it really did touch me. Um, seeing that you looked exactly like me and I want everybody to just hold love in their hearts, put out the right vibrations, right energy and it'll come back. Because of Stephen Lawrence, I will always use my voice. I will be your ally and stand with you as a community, as a family, as the human race. Never forget and never repeat. Because of Stephen Lawrence, I make sure that the youth of I am Every young person knows they can achieve their dream. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. I wasn't alive when Stephen Lawrence was murdered, but I've had that moment, that feeling. That's when George Floyd got murdered. What does that mean to you? Because of Stephen Lawrence's murder 28 years ago, we were able to have a conversation about equality, race and knife crime. A conversation we didn't get a chance to finish. But in 2020, with Black Lives Matter, we now have the opportunity to put right what was wrong 28 years ago. Because of Stephen Lawrence, I feel there's less institutionalised racism. Um, with that being said, I believe that I have benefited from this because the police are now employing 
more black people, more people from the ethnic minority backgrounds. And for me, that makes me feel safer and as if I'm going to be treated fairly. Because of Stephen Lawrence, I choose to be kind and to spread love. We are all one human race. Our blood all runs red. So let's live in peace and harmony. Bedfordshire Violence and Exploitation Reduction Unit will never forget Stephen Lawrence.